Welcome to IBM Mainframer, a complete reference for mainframe programmer. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn COBOL program layout. The most important thing to understand when learning COBOL is that, is very strict in terms of code layout. The layout rules relate to the use of columns and characters. Also, the format uses a hierarchical outline structure. This diagram illustrates the reference format for a COBOL source line. In COBOL, a line of code can be no longer than 80 columns in length. You can also think of a column as a character. Columns are segmented into groups, with each group serving a particular purpose. Let us look into each group in detail. Columns 1 through 6, Sequence Number Area A sequence number is similar to a line number, and it is generated automatically by system. Sequence number identifies each statement to be compiled by the COBOL compiler. Column 7, Indicator Area This column is used for continuation or comments. To make the line as comment, column 7 must be asterisks. Similarly, hyphen is used to do indicate the continuation of previous line. Column 8 through 72, where you write COBOL code. These columns further divided into area A and area B. Columns 8 through 11, area A. Columns 12 through 72, area B. Both area A and area B is used for COBOL coding. Some COBOL code should start in area A. Some COBOL code should start in area B. By mistake, if we written the COBOL code in wrong area, we will get an error while compiling the COBOL code. The last area is Program Identification, or Common Area, which is columns 73 through 80. This area is reserved for developer use. You can write anything in there, just make sure you don't go past column 80. Mostly, we use this for entering the program identification on each individual line of code. Let me show you a demo COBOL Hello World program in COBOL layout. Don't worry if you do not know the program logic. This example, just to show you the COBOL structure. This is the COBOL program in mainframe screen view. Basically, this program displays the word hello world. Type COL in command line to display the column ruler. This helps us to find the column number in a line. Press PF10 to see the hidden column in left side. Usually 1 to 6 columns are hidden in left side. These columns are used for sequence number. Keep in mind, we don't need to generate the sequence number. System will automatically generate this number, every time when we insert a new line. To insert a new line, enter I in line number and press enter. New line is created, let me type blah 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 and press enter. See here new sequence number is created. See the sequence number area. These numbers are created in a sequence. To delete the newly added line, type D in line number and press enter. Next is column 7, indicator area. This column is used for continuation or comments. See here, column 7 in most of the line is blank. Except line 1. Line 1 contains asterisks in column 7, to make this line as comment line. The entire line is considered as comment line. So this line will be skipped when we compile the program. Next is area A, columns 8 through 11. See line number 2, line number 3 and line number 4 in area A. COBOL code starts from column 8. Last two lines start from column 12. It is because division names, program ID all should start from column 8 in area A. See last two line of code. It is starting at column 12. Because, most of the COBOL statement in procedure division is always starts in area B. I think, the only statement in procedure division I remember, which starts in column area A is, paragraph name. Once you started coding the COBOL, you will get more familiar where to write the COBOL code in each line. By mistake, if we written the COBOL code in wrong area, we will get an error, for example, if we move the last two line one column before. Then this line starting at column 11, which is area A. This will cause a compile error. So, 
it is important thing to understand when learning COBOL is that is very strict in terms of code layout. Let me move the code back to area B. Press PF11 to see hidden columns in right side. Also see right side top of the screen, there is column indicator, it display the visible columns on the screen. That is starting and ending columns. After pressing the PF11 again, now we see the columns up to 80. Column 73 through 80 is program identification or common area. This column is similar as column 1 to 8. We don't need to generate this number. System will automatically generate this number, every time when we insert a new line. Wow, that is the end of this video. Hope you understand the concept of COBOL layout. In next video, we'll see each COBOL divisions in detail. Thanks for watching this video. If you need more details, please visit our official website www.ibmmainframer.com. Happy learning!